Hello and welcome to another Key Shot Quick Tip. My name is Rex and today I'll be showing you some techniques on how to create a simple explosive view animation. So you can see we have our dirt bike set up in our environment with materials and labels already applied. So now that we're ready uh, to get started with our animation, our first step will be to set a camera. But before we do that, I like to go into my settings and make sure my image resolution uh, is proportional to uh, 1080p or 720p because I know the output of this animation will likely uh, go on to YouTube or something like that. So I like to set it to 960 by 540 because it fits well on the screen and we'll lock that aspect ratio. That way we can adjust the size of this window and we'll still keep our frame uh, proportional to the proper aspect ratio. So now let's go to our camera tab and let's add a new camera here. We'll call this Exploded. And we can go into our edit mode and position the bike in a way that will allow it to orbit in 360 degrees with the body panels uh, removed from the bike and then return back to their original position without going outside of the window. So that looks about right there. Now we can go to our scene tree and find that camera and go ahead and add an orbit to it. We want this to be a loopable animation so we'll keep it at the default of 360 degrees with the linear motion ease and we'll make it six seconds. So you can see here in our animation timeline uh, we have our orbit and you can drag your place slider to preview that 360 degrees of rotation and now we're ready to uh, begin with our explosive view so we find our body panels in our scene tree luckily they're nice and organized here and we'll open that up find we'll start with this stock bearing so you can right click and add a translation and then here in our animation timeline if we bring our place slider over to the end of that node uh, we can see what's going on now let's uncheck this orbit so we have a better view and you can see the translation uh, for this bearing is not in the correct axis so we'll turn this value to zero and that's going in the wrong direction so we'll make that a negative and there we go so now that we have that animation set for the fairing we can copy that and paste it to our front fender now we can actually paste the linked animation for this uh, for simplicity's sake keep it as one tidy animation but you can see there is an interference with this front tire so we'll also want to add a rotation to that so we use the Z axis and bring that value down a bit so now you can see we have our fairing and our fender coming off nicely from the bike okay so let's move on to the side we have our right side panel here we we'll add a translation and again the Y is not suitable axis for this uh, let's go ahead and add a value for the Z axis and it looks like it's going the wrong way so that will have to be a negative value there okay so we can copy that animation and find this uh, blue air scoop here which is our right air scoop and we can paste our animation however you can see if these are set to the same value they'll be flush but for the purposes of our exploded view we'll want these to be offset so let's go to that animation and adjust the value of that there we go okay now let's do the same thing for the left side panel and the left air scoop can add a translation and Y is 
not the proper axis. Z worked well. There we go. And then we can copy that animation and again paste it to our left air scoop. And we'll want to adjust that value so they're offset. And there we go. Okay, so let's just uh, do this rear fender here in the seat and then we should be done. So let's start with our rear fender. We'll add a translation. Uh, here the Y value, Y axis is correct. And we can do the same thing, copy animation and paste animation to the seat. However, we are going to want to adjust that value so they're offset. There we go. So if you drag your play slider here in the animation timeline window, we can see uh, all the body panels are pulled off of the bike quite nicely. So now that we have those animations, we can tidy things up by adding them to a folder uh, using shift to select them all and call this exploded. Okay, there we go. So let's move this down our timeline a bit and we can set the orbit back to visible. And in order to mirror this folder, we'll right click, select mirror, and as you can see, it didn't put all these nodes into the mirror folder. So we'll go into our ex original exploded folder, select these, and drag them into our mirrored folder. And there we go. Let's drag this down our timeline, move back to the beginning, and have a preview. 360 degree orbit, body panels coming off and returning back to their original position by the time the bike has made a complete rotation. Uh, I hope this is useful for everyone out there and hope you've taken away something from this. So until next month's quick tip, thank you. Bye.